The issue of inspiration is obviously a very individual uh, thing. And for me, it can be the, the turn of a phrase of a wonderful soprano. It can uh, lead to new ways of thinking about my own music as a possibility. And in fact, I have written pieces just on the basis of hearing a phrase of Lucy Shelton, for example, of a musician I uh, greatly admire. I don't think you can run around looking for inspiration. I think it happens. Uh, it happens because I live a creative life. I live a life through my work. And I'm thinking about the work all the time. And it's the way that I live my life. And um, all of us have points in their, our lives when the things don't move as smoothly as we would hope. But I've found that by re-engaging music I've, and or engaging poetry, uh, I find solutions to the compositional problems that I trying to solve it in my own work. So I never have ever gotten to a point where inspiration is lacking. Um, if not, I find a way to find, I find it in order to move ahead with my work. And in that sense, you know, I, I look at writing music very much the way I look at um, the work of a fine craftsman who makes a wonderful piece of furniture. There's a very clear, it has a very clear utilitarian function. If it's a chair, we understand what the function of that is. But not only does it have the clear uh, usefulness, it also can be very beautiful. It can be beautifully made. And we can look at it as a piece of art. And I look at music in very similar kinds of ways. And I'm a kind of craftsman who has a, a job to do, and that job is to provide music performers. Music performers would simply sit there if they had nothing to play, obviously. So uh, my role then is to be that craftsman, to make it as best as I possibly can, and to come up with something hopefully that's elegant, that will engage the full resources of the musicians that make my music come off of the page and, and, and become alive.